Today, we are taking you inside the realm of an abandoned southern home. Its halls echoing with the tender memories of a bygone era. In 2003, an elderly woman bid farewell to this world, leaving behind a frozen memory of cherished moments for two decades. This woman, a beacon of love and care for her children and grandchildren, shared over 40 years of companionship with her beloved husband. Tragically, the early 90s saw his departure due to a sudden heart attack, leaving her to navigate life's path in solitude. In the wake of her passing, her home was forgotten and no one returned to claim the remnants of her life. Now, only forgotten memories remain. A testament to the once vibrant and humble love that filled its walls. So join me today and let's see what's left. Check out the old cars. An old Cadillac and a Buick over there and a boat. We're not going to stay outside too long guys unfortunately because it is raining but this is the cars. So I just want to give you a quick little view of that before we go inside and hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a wild one. Let's head inside. Let's get out of this rain and let's see what's left inside this abandoned house. Let's get it. What's up everybody? We've made it inside of this abandoned grandma's house. Now already looking around, it's pretty legit. Check it out. And there's a lot more to see. And when we first walked in, we even saw a firearm. So we're going to check all that out. It's a very old one and this house is very old. Hasn't been lived in in quite some time. I'm gonna get you guys into this video and show you guys what's left in this house. So let's get right into it. So the first room I'm actually going to show you guys today is the master bedroom. This is a very tiny house in the south. The master bedroom is just not large. It's not that big. As you can tell, it is a time capsule. I mean, check out the bed. It's made. It's been made for all these years. I believe that when she passed away, she actually died on the couch in the living room. The rest of this has all just been left because there's no family around to take care of it. So unfortunately, this is what you're left with. You have items being left, old photos just to decay in this old place. We've got like these creams here, pain and itch cream, cough mixture, gris. Grissian formula? I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, guys. If you know, let me know down in the comments, but we're gonna keep looking around at all this stuff. This is pretty crazy. It's been a while since we've been in a time capsule, so you guys know how I feel about these places. Closets full of stuff, and then this old bed here, and we even gotta see, because this drawer's gotta be full of things. I'm pulling really hard on that. It's one of those things where it's kind of stuck because it's been there for so long. So. a lot of knickknacks. If we move these beads, we have a couple of shotgun shells to go to the shotgun that is left in here. And you guys want to keep watching to see the shotgun that's left in this house. But there's a couple of bullets there. And I bet all of these are just kind of full of clothes and whatnot. You have to go back and forth just to get it open. Yeah, it looks like some, some cloths in there. This is like a bigger drawer, so this is probably more stuff like that. Oh my gosh, you can tell rats and mice have just made their home in these drawers. Mm, it stinks really bad in there too. Let's close that back up. Just boxes, some razors, here's some glasses. So these must have been like there. Prescription glasses, I can't really get them out though, for some reason. And there's more glasses throughout this thing and even a couple more bullets to a 22 it looks like. So I wonder if there's a 22 left in this house. There definitely could be. This is the closet. 
wondering what all this stuff is. It looks like cotton swabs. That's like first aid kits, all of that stuff. Guys, I'm thinking there's a 22 left in this house. But you never know. People hide them so well sometimes. Oh, look at the rat's nest in this drawer. Goodness. More of the same. Abandoned by people and taken over by mice. So that, guys, that's the master bedroom. I mean, you can tell it's it's small. A lot of stuff jammed under the bed. I mean, there could be stuff under there. But you know, guys, we explore. We don't go through a whole bunch of stuff like that. We're not digging through the place. We're just showing you guys what's left and how we humans sometimes leave stuff like this. So started you guys off in here. Let's move on to the next room. We got Justin. What's up, dog? Hey, guys. We're coming out into this little, uh, what would you call this? Like a hall, it's, I mean, it's not like a hallway, but it's, yeah, it's like the living room's right there. And then it comes to this little section of a room that just has like this recliner here. That's like a, I think that's a heater of some sort, like a fireplace kind of. The attic is right there. And then there's just some decorations through here. Kitchen goes through there. Living room is there. That's where the gun is. Another bedroom here. Little closet. This is like a cat calendar for 1985. There's this bathroom, which is still very preserved. I mean, look at the towels still hanging up. And then we have another bedroom here, which I actually think I was wrong about that being the master bedroom. I think this is the master bedroom. But first, I want to see what's in this little section here. So this is like some sort of heater, I want to say. By Siegler. Never heard of that before. I've never seen one of these in a house before. You guys, the family that did live here was an African-American family, because we are in this, we're in this like deep south town. And I wanted to just show you guys kind of the artwork in here. It's very unique, I love this kind of stuff. Like this is beautiful. All different kinds of artwork around here. Like look at this piece. So this place wasn't abandoned in, eight, in 85, I don't believe. I believe it was abandoned a bit sometime after that. But I assume they kept this because of how unique it is. It's like a little kitty cat calendar. So my birthday would have been on a Monday if I was born in 1985. But I was born in 1997, so my birthday was on a Tuesday. This says, I do my thing and you do your thing. I am not in this world to live up to your expectations and you are not in this world to live up to mine. You are you and I am I. And if by chance we find each other, it's beautiful. You know, that's deep. <laughs> that is a deep, that's, that's the truth for real, but that is deep. So hope you guys understand what this is saying. Of course, we got John F. Kennedy, former president. This is from 1995. So I want to say this place was abandoned either in the early 2000s or late 90s. I know just a little bit of information right now being inside, but I don't know everything. With that being said, in the beginning of the videos, you guys probably already know all the history about this place in full detail. What we do when we explore these is a lot of times we just find them and figure out what's going on as we're inside. So this is just, this is a cool place. This is really cool. And it's good to be back exploring. This is like my first explore in months. So it's starting off with a really good one. So let's move on to the next room, which I do believe is actually the master. And we're gonna work our way around. And like I said, guys, stay tuned to see the gun because it's cool. Here we go. Spider webs, I just walked through coming into this room. This room is a bit more messy. And it does smell like mothballs in here a little bit. So we're gonna walk around a little bit. Find the coat closet, nice suits, things like that. It's like this vacuum cleaner down here, this really old vacuum cleaner. 
like I said, there could be something else in this house, but we don't know until we look around. But check this out. This gives us another clue. November and December of 2003. So now we're in the early 2000s. We're going to keep looking for dates as we go along. But nonetheless, this place was definitely left behind more than likely in the early 2000s, given the, the age of everything that's in here. But check that out. We got a blue bed. This is right next to the bed. These flowers are fake, everyone. But check out all the mold and nasty stuff on here. There is stuff that looks like it was boxed up. Maybe they were, maybe family was trying to get some stuff out of here. Who knows? Here's a whole thing of undergarments. And this, this could be for, um, this is for adults. So you can tell they were older, probably had a little bit of problems being older. We all get old one day, guys. So sometimes you start off in diapers and you end in diapers. Looks like we got some cool stuff in here. Look at this. Oh, that's sick. That's a Rolls Royce car right there. That is a nice piece. My grandpa used to collect these. That's pretty sweet. Haven't found one of these in a place, but that is so cool. See the R right there on the front. And it was just shoved in this drawer. So you never know what you're gonna find. You guys know the struggle of opening drawers like that. This just has some mouthwash in it for some reason. Look more around in this room. Looks like dried up stuff. Looks kind of gross. There's a little jewelry box and here's some more bullets. More 22s. So this could be the room where the 22 is. And here's a jar full of pennies. You know there's definitely some some wheat pennies in here. That's so cool. You just never know what you're gonna find in these houses. It's all a mystery. Here's where he kept his ties. Some of these drawers are plumb empty. And some are full. It has like perfumes and stuff in it. But a big old rat's nest. I still gotta watch out for spiders, guys, because it's still spider season. So yeah, we're just seeing kind of what's left behind in some of these rooms, but this room, I believe, is more of, more likely the master, because it's a little bit larger. And even right here is a bunch of fur coats and whatnot. You can see all the mold spider webs up there. You got the blue light, actually, to match the bed. That's pretty cool. So far, pretty stunning time capsule. So we just explored the master bedroom. I know I said the other one was, but this one actually is. Now we're gonna move on to the next room, which is the bathroom. It's very, very pristine. So we're gonna check it out and see what's left. First walking in, check it out. Very green, very seafoam green bathroom here. Towels are still folded up. It's small, it definitely is small. Check how fancy the curtains are though for this bathroom until it was nice. Very small though. I don't think I could fit in there very well. Toothbrushes are still left. This one's still in a box. Everything is still just pristine. I mean, look at this sink. Oh my gosh. A little space heater in here. that their towels are still folded up inside it smells so clean in there oh my gosh <laughs> safe to say this is a very very clean bathroom I love the colors in here too really gives it that age here's a closet I don't know what's in here 
Looks like this is where they kept their blankets. Blankets and cushions, pillows, whatnot. Kept all that right in there. We're gonna step around this. Look at the web. Guys, look at the spider web. This place has been sitting for a long time. My goodness. Guys, I could be wrong again. This could be the master. <laughs> I haven't gone and checked like every room, but it, they're all not much bigger than each other. Look at this doll sitting here. Jewelry boxes everywhere. I mean, this place is a true time capsule. I think this was actually her mother's room or the grandma's room. The other people in the house that owned it stayed back there. But I do believe that this was the grandma's room. And look, her jewelry is scattered like everywhere in here. There's like these watches, like there's just all this little jewelry scattered about. Really, really nice stuff. And they just left it. Check this out. This has a portrait on it. You guys see that? You can definitely tell they were a little religious. Maybe a bit religious, which is good too at the same time. Really, really fancy jewelry. I mean, she, you could tell she was dressing up quite often. Check this out. The TV. This drawer is tough. They got wallets. Ugh. Ugh. It's like hair in there. I don't leave that alone. You can tell this bed is old. And the suitcase is on it. Say like maybe they just tried to pack up stuff and then probably just passed away. All these clothes, jackets, even shoes. This place is a literal, true time capsule, guys. This is one of the best we've seen in a long time. I'm happy to get to show you guys this stuff again. It's been tough being out of the game, but like I said in the last video, if you didn't see that, if you're just now seeing me for a long in a while, um, I am the happiest I've ever been. Again, I reunited with somebody that just really, really makes me happy. And uh, you guys have never seen this true form of me, my true self. I've never really been myself since I've been on YouTube. So, um, you guys get to see a whole new me, which I'm excited for. So let's get through the rest of this house and we'll move on to the next spot. This is a really cool little Carolina trip. We're in uh, both states right now. Doing a lot of cool stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys the rest of what we find. Then we're gonna head to the kitchen and then to the room with the gun, which I'll give you a little sneak peek of this room. Check it out. This is the living room. So stay tuned. We'll see what's left in there. Let's go see what Justin's up to in here. Leaving. Leaving? Yeah. Do you open up the fridge? Uh, no, I'm scared. I was waiting. <laughs> you want to do it together? I might as well. <laughs> oh. That is full of everything. I got like dairy in there. Dude, there was, there was eggs in there. <laughs> Ew, ew. <laughs> That's how you know it's a time capsule right there. <laughs> Got nasty old food left behind. But guys, we're in the kitchen now and look at it. I mean, we still got the dishes. Looks like these dishes were actually done, but never got put up. This is all porcelain on top of here. This floor feels like it's going to break. 
And I don't know if there's a basement or anything. I didn't see a door for one. Would not want to fall through this floor. Is that a Soviet Union hat? Is that what that is, bro? Is this the Soviet Union? This. This sign. I think that's the Soviet Union. But I could... The, the, <laughs> I don't want to be wrong on this. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Interesting. interesting. That's an interesting find. This is the pantry. And the door is stuck because the floor is so warped. But it's full of food. Got beans, fried apples. Never seen such a thing. Fried apples in a place. Sardines. Ew. Look, we got a fork made for a guy like me. <laughs> I just get blown away by houses like this. You got china cabinet full of stuff still. Perfectly preserved. There's even a little baby chair. I wonder if they had a baby in here as well. This is super neat, guys. The floor dips very much. Let's see what's in the cabinets here. Still got all this stuff. I wonder if a genie will come out. <laughs> Let's close this one. Let's open the other side. There's books in here. Everything like that. I got the coffee maker. I don't want to walk on this floor a whole lot, guys, because it's it's a bit much. Here's all of your here's all of your plates and cups. So really neat room, really neat kitchen here. Gotta love seeing kitchens. Now that we've seen where we eat, now it's time to see where we live in the living room. So let's check it out. And fair warning, there is a firearm left here. There is a gun. It's a shotgun. It's very old. So I don't know exactly the date on it. If you guys know by looking at it in the comments, let me know down below. So let's check out the living room, which is arguably the best room in this whole house. Let's see it. Walking through a big door here. The floor is very creaky in here too, so you're gonna hear it. See? And here it is, guys. We have the couch. It's a beautiful red couch. And we have this old shotgun. I believe it's a 12 gauge. It's really old. We're going to be really careful and not touch it. Just going to leave it right there. We didn't want anything bad to happen. But as you can tell, this living room is completely set up. Still a time capsule. And love to see it. Check out these old high school photos. How incredible. They did have a baby too. This is kind of a whole look of the living room. It's very dark in here, probably because it's raining. How beautiful is that? And this gun, still, if I don't know what year this is from, I can't tell by looking at it. But if you guys can kind of put a date on this, this weapon right here, you guys let me know. But like I said, arguably, the best room in the house, we have, you know, the stands on each side with beautiful lamps, decorated very well. Let's see if there's anything left in this. I don't think this actually opens. No. And then check out the TV we got in here. It's a very old TV. Electro Tune Color Pilot. So this was a color. TV, very interesting. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's full of records. These were tough to open. I don't think this has been open in so long. What do we got? Modern, modern spoken Hebrew and record time. What? Oh, record time. <laughs> record time. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so it makes me wonder if there's records in there. Oh my gosh. Whoa, sick. What? So they, this is a, wow, dude, that's nuts. A very old record player and TV here. I don't know if this is an actual television or what, but that's so cool. It's built into all this. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. That one is just like not gonna open. What a cool find. Close it up. What do you guys think of this beautiful place? Well, before we fall through the floor, we're gonna get out of this place. Hope you guys enjoyed the first video back uh, doing abandoned exploration on this channel. We have always done it, but been taking a big break. And now we're back at it. Justin, it's been a while since we've even met up. Check him out. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is about to fall in. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like down below. Check out Justin down below. Leave a comment of what your favorite part of this place was and what you think about the story. And until next time, Big Banks out.